Insane fatal blows, gruesome fatalities, character breakdowns, a new crypt mode, and smoke beats the brakes off of a grandma. This is everything Mortal Kombat released in the past couple of days. And stick around towards the end if you want to hear why I think this new crypt mode is going to be a grinding nightmare. Oh my gosh, is it going to be Mortal Kombat 9 nasty? Yes it is. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. That is just so disgusting. Kung Lao always has the most disgusting fatalities. Oh yes, it's gonna be the classic one, isn't it? Yup, yup, it's the classic Cyrex fatality. Oh, you're gonna hear the scream! You're gonna hear the scream before the whole world blows up. Oh, it's such an awesome fatality. Let's start off with a scene that caught everybody off guard, which is Kronika returning in Mortal Kombat 1. And I don't know why she's back, if I'm being completely honest. I'm hoping she doesn't have too much of an impact on the story, and I'm hoping she's not the main villain. Fingers crossed Onaga is the main villain, and they're not just gonna tease him at the end of the story. But fast forward a couple of scenes, we get to see Kung Lao, Raiden, Madame Bo, and Smoke. And I gotta say, Smoke is a complete dickhead in this scene. Watch my reaction. Pay for our protection, or risk harm to this fine establishment. Hey! Nothing from me. Hold up, why is Smoke such a jerk? What's going on? Why is he being so mean to this old lady? Oh, come on, no way. The Lin Kuei's like that? Holy shit, Grandma got fucking moved. There is no way they just did that. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I mean, Grandma got moves. Madam Bo got moves. I ain't gonna lie, but she gets completely fucked right there, bro. And the fact how she's just laying there on the table afterwards, I think that's what got me. It's the fact that he just slams her head into the railing, and the way that she's just knocked out cold on the table, that is classic that is gonna be such a classic scene in mortal Kombat forever we also got to see sindel's gameplay and there's so many people on twitter reacting to this of course she has her iconic scream move which stuns your opponent and you can do a combo off another special move she has is a fireball which is a low and a mid she also can do this in the air and if you enhance the fireball it will actually beat out your opponent's projectile and still hit them and there's still more with this low projectile because if you enhance it and your opponent's in the corner you can actually pop up your opponent and do a full combo they also brought back her Mortal Kombat 9 cartwheel kick and if you enhance it it actually is armored so it's good for a wake up attack as well and of course they brought back her levitation which you can also cancel so you can stagger use that special move cancel it do more staggers it is going to be nuts but that's not even the craziest part because she also has a buff mood that increases the cooldown speed of her cameo so if your cameo has a projectile and Sindel activates the buff move you're gonna be able to spam that projectile like there's no tomorrow oh you thought I was done oh no no there is something even crazy easier than this. She can also control your cameo. So let's say she enhances that move and now she's performing a combo on you, but you want to break. So you hit that breaker button. She can control your cameo, stun them, negate the breaker, pops you back up and she gets a full combo. And I'm not even close to being done yet. Sindel also has a move where she can literally gain control of your cameo. The non-enhanced move just stuns your opponent. You have to do it while the cameo is out and active. If you get a good read on your opponent, call out the move, it will stun that cameo and they'll just stay there. Now, if you enhance that move, the cameo will go off screen and you will actually be in control of the cameo. Please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on Sindel. Moving on to Rain gameplay i was actually pretty surprised with the decision nrs made to turn rain into a wizard i thought that was a pretty risky decision but it looks like it paid off in the end he's always been one of the more flashier characters in mortal kombat and he has a lot of cool special moves which is a water beam water gate geyser water shield and rain god water beam is your standard projectile it's a mid and it takes up a lot of real estate on the screen water gate is really cool you actually can teleport by opening up two water portals the water geyser is one of those special moves that you can end your combos on or if you have a cameo like Sonya, you can probably continue that combo as well. One of the cooler special moves is Rain's Whirlpool. Now you can throw down a Whirlpool. If they move into it, they're going to get popped up into a combo. I can see a lot of crazy setups in the corner. Now, if they're holding block to save their life, I think you can hit them with an overhead or a low or even a grab. They'll get sucked into the Whirlpool and it's a whole other combo and you can just restart it all over again. It's a dangerous setup. I can see it already. Another special move Rain has is the Water Shield. I was not expecting this whatsoever. Rain 
Wayne can actually create a water shield, and if he enhances it, it'll move with him, and this will block all projectiles. Finally, there is the Rain God special move. This is where Rain goes up in the air, strikes you down with some water, and it's actually a pop-up for a whole other combo. And the crazier part is you can actually cancel it. We got to see Striker's cameo gameplay as well, and I gotta tell you, this dude is crazy. Let's start off with the move where he literally goes behind your opponent and handcuffs you. Next up is his classic Mortal Kombat 3 grenade toss. Not only does this help with zoning and projectiles, this also can be a combo assist as well. The next cameo move is a mix-up between overhead and low. So it adds a whole other dynamic to the game. And I'll just say Striker is my favorite fatal blow. Okay. Really? Interesting. Okay. I mean, we've seen it before in the trailers. You know, he comes up, shoots you, does a little taser, hits you with a baton. That's kind of cool, not gonna lie. I'm, I'm excited to see Rain this fatal blow. Oh! That wasn't actually too bad. That was kind of creative. And Shao Kahn is looking pretty badass. He actually has two different gameplays, one with his axe and one without his axe. So let's say you perform a regular combo and the axe ends up on the ground. Now Shao Kahn has a completely different gameplay with just his fists. You can perform another combo with your fist and end it with you picking up the axe again. So there's a lot of different options for gameplay between your axe and your fist. Even your grab has a different animation depending if you're just using your fist or your axe. I gotta say, I'm pretty excited that Motaro is in Mortal Kombat again. The only downside is I don't think he's going to be used that much as a cameo. The first cameo move is a projectile blocker where he walks towards your opponent. The second cameo move is a projectile where he launches three fireballs at your opponent. The final move is a teleport where he'll grab you and teleport you to the other side of the screen. I'm not too sure if a lot of people are going to be using him, but I am glad to see Motaro make a return in Mortal Kombat. Yes, it's let's see Shao Kahn's fatal blow and Motaro. Oh no, no, we saw Motaro's already. I think honestly... I don't know how I feel about Motaro's. Oh, I wish he used his tail around. more in the Fatal Blow. That would have been cool. Okay, it's not done. Oh, it is done. Ah, I don't know how I feel about that one, honestly. We also got to see gameplay of Baraka and Striker versus Shao Kahn and Motaro. And I gotta say, I am so excited for this game to come out in September. Yeah, there's a move where Striker comes behind the opponent and handcuffs them. That's a cool move. It's a restand. And damn, Baraka, holy shit, did he use Bard Ooh, I wasn't paying attention. That overhead. Power slam. Okay, all these are pretty the beefy nope, combos. Side, holy crap, they all been over 35%, wait, wait, I think. Right. That's kind of ridiculous. Very funny. Yes. Nice punish. Oh, this is gonna be big. Oh, yeah, there we go. GG's. Oh, jump the combo. Uh, he had a, his oh, lead. it's a low. Uh, pop up Baraka's yeah, fatal is a low? Forgot to block the second part of that Ooh, fatal foo, blow. Foo. Blow. That's tricky. Oh, that's Paid a sick foo. one. I like Baraka's fatal blow. That's a really cool one. Oh, we get to see Motaro's this fatality? For Baraka. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy crap, I was not expecting that at all. That was crazy. Now let's talk about the new crypt mode, which is called Invasion. It basically looks like Mario Party and a board game. You'll be traveling from node to node, completing different challenges, and I'm assuming the awards can be skins, fatalities, brutalities, and much more. Now here's the thing where I think it's gonna be a grinding nightmare. Now I know a while back I said, now picture this, what if you actually had to play as certain characters in order to unlock certain parts of the map? And by playing as those certain characters, maybe they can have character-specific chess, character-specific fatalities, brutality, skins, you name it. And once you've unlocked this realm, you can then travel to it and unlock all more fatalities, brutalities, and skins. But at the time, it seemed like a really neat concept where you can pick your favorite Mortal Kombat character, travel to different realms, and based on the character you picked, you can unlock their skins, fatalities, brutalities, and more. Now I'm not too sure if I like the idea. If this is the case in Mortal Kombat 1, where you pick a main character and a cameo, and you will only unlock lock things based on the characters you pick that is going to be a grinding nightmare i'm hoping that each node has a set list of things that you will unlock when you travel here and it's not character specific based let me know in the comment section below what are you most excited for in mortal kombat 1